Meet Danielle Kang. The 24-year-old is one of the most popular players on the LPGA Tour, with her infectious energy earning the admiration of golf fans and fellow pros alike. With the 2016 season now over, we caught up with her to discuss her ambitions for next year and to find out more about her new partnership with fellow American Michelle Wee. Obviously, like every year you want more success and I, next year I just want it to be better and um, I'm building, a, building my game to be at the next level. So just hoping to see improvements every year and um, having a good break coming up is good because I've had like quite a bit little injuries here and there this year. So it's all settling down and I feel like every year that I'm out here, it's just, I'm getting more stable as I go. So. I'm hoping next year I'm ready to go. Consistency has long been an integral part of her game, rarely missing cuts in the four years she's been on tour. However, to try to develop even further, Danielle has enlisted the help of a few familiar faces from her home in Las Vegas. Stroke game has improved because I've been stressing a lot on getting better on my putting. Um, looking at different putting coaches and working on my wedges with my brother a lot. And I've been practicing out at TPC Summerlin and there's quite a few PGA Tour players out there. And Scott Pierce, he helped a lot with my putting actually um, towards my Asian swing. And yeah, it's just focusing more and trying to get better at you know the weaker parts of your game. I think that was more important for me. Golf runs in the Kang family as her brother Alex is also a pro. He enjoyed a successful season on the PGA Tour China series finishing third in the Order of Merit and gaining a Web.com Tour membership for 2017. We play as much as we can whenever we're home and we play together, we practice together. Um, he sends me a swing, sent me a swing this morning and if I ever have a question, I call him. The way we are raised since we were younger, um, anything that we do to always just give it the best you can or practice hard and hard work pays off and I mean, that's it's just at the end of the day it's hard work so um, my dad's really athletic he used to be very athletic and my mom she's just brainiac so I think you just have to work hard and it, it'll all pay off. Danielle had a glittering career before turning pro becoming the first player in 15 years to successfully defend the US women's amateur title that gave her huge self-belief when she joined the LPGA in 2012. I think it gave me a really good chance into the professional golf and like confidence level wise, how you're ready to play. And I mean, being number one amateur, and then I thought I was ready to come out and, you know, play really well. But um, I've had some like few years of difficulties. It's not just golf part out here though. That's the difference between amateur and pro. That's what I realized. It's just the lifestyle you live and the way everything's handled, I guess. So everything has to, what, like my main stress is everything needs to settle and come together. Away from golf, Danielle runs a blog with fellow LPGA star Michelle Wee. The pair are good friends and regularly write about everything for their fans from travel tips to bunker tips, hoping to showcase a different side to themselves away from the course. Michelle and I, we love taking photos of everything, mostly food. And her and I were just talking on the phone one day and it just came about like, hey, we should totally write about like what we do. Um, like if I read that how I traveled like this would be easier, I would totally read that. Or um, what to eat when you're here. So her and I were just talking on the phone because we were in London at that time for the British Open at Woburn Country Club, yeah. And we were in London and we were saying it would be so much easier if we knew that not paying one-way ticket on subways or train station would save so much money. I mean, I spent like 60 euros on just transportation on one day. And that's ridiculous, come on, right? And if somebody, if I, that's done it before, could have told me, then it would be cool. And we have the opportunity to go around the world, travel all these places. It's just pretty cool, so we just, decided to share what we do and what we eat. We both love food, like we love food. And um, the cities that we go to, the way we travel, and then of course the golf part, like what kind of tips you guys would like to know, like more engaging with us. So as 2016 comes to an end, thoughts turn to next year and what promises to be the most competitive season yet on the LPGA Tour.
For someone who's as passionate about golf as Danielle, it's surely only a matter of time before those top 10 finishes become victories. I genuinely enjoy playing golf. I like being out here. I like playing golf. I was putting aside the living part, like playing golf for a living, I just, I like the fact that golf is what I can control. And I have so much control, yet I don't. You know, how the results come out or how the ball releases, I don't, I don't know how to do that. But the best I could do is work hard from my side. And um, I genuinely like playing. It's fun, you know, it's just, every day you have different obstacles that you could play with and it's just me out there so it's it's nice i really like it <laughs>